So truss rod adjustment. Truss rod adjustment is just going to adjust the neck. You don't want to use it to adjust action, like how high your action is. Well, I'll get into that later, but um, you just want to adjust it for um, to either straighten out the neck or make more relief in the neck. So I'll show you guys what to look for to see if your guitar, how your neck of your guitar is and to, what to look for to see if you need to adjust it. So one finger on the 22nd fret and then we have a capo down at the first fret. You're going to need a ruler that measures 64 of an inch and with the capo and with your finger down on the 22nd fret you go to the 7th fret and you're going to measure from the top of the fret to the bottom of the string and there should be a tiny gap and I have it set up for 2 64 of an inch that's how much gap we have set up so um, if you have more than if you have like a bow where it's going to be like this and you have a large gap in between the top of the fret and the bottom of the string then you're going to need to address the truss rod or if it's um, if you have like a, like a hump or if, you know it's right up on the strings pushing up against it when you don't even have you know the capo on there you need to adjust your neck and I'll show you guys how to adjust the truss rod for both of those okay so when I showed you in the other video and I showed you like the gap that's about how much gap you want if you have like a huge gap in between where you have a big bow and there's a big gap between the bottom of the strings and the top of the frets then um, you're gonna need to tighten it when you put the allen wrench and you're looking down at it so you're gonna go clockwise and you just turn it like an eighth of a turn you can maybe go a quarter of a turn turn it to the right and then and, and take note that every time that whenever you address the truss rod you're gonna have to re-intonate your guitar so after you've turned it to the right and you're gonna want to make sure it's in tune and then you're just gonna check it see if there's how it feels if there's still you know like a big gap and it's gonna take a while for it to get completely adjusted sometimes you have to check it the next day so that's why doing this will you know it's kind of a lengthy process okay let's say the neck of your guitar the bottom of the strings and the top of the frets are touching there's no gap in there whatsoever that means that you're gonna need some relief in the neck of your guitar so you want to turn the allen wrench counterclockwise you want to turn it counterclockwise maybe an eighth of a turn I mean eighth of a turn to a quarter of a turn at the most and then you just check that, check it again with the capo, put the capo on the first fret and then you know your other finger down at the 22nd fret and then measure it with the ruler and see how much gap you have and see how it feels when you play.